This most joyous of occasions, we are continuing the family tradition of Luke's. It's not actually our family tradition, but I figure we'd start one. We'd start a traditional tradition and go get some goslings or baby geese. Yeah, why not? Luke's currently I'm looking for geese. Looking for geese. We haven't even left the driveway yet. <laughs> there we go. Better warm the old van up. Right, we've relocated to what we're hoping is Goose City. We did see uh, the geese down this way, there they are. I can see them right there. Not the sheep. Right of the sheet, there's a couple of geese heads sticking out. Hopefully, the goslings are with them. Right, so we've just spied about 40 or 50 geese over there. Heaps of baby goslings, which are the, the big babies, and just about to get their feathers, so they really get eaten. At the moment, they're hightailing it across the rocks over there, so we better move really quickly so we can get over and cut them off before they hit that gorse. Well, the little buggers have got the jump on us. They've seen us coming a mile away. And half of them have legged it for the lagoon over there and the gorse. And the other half of, I don't know, the whole lot are in the lagoon. That's good. So I could end up in a, a bit of a swimming exercise. Looks like the little buggers are heading out to sea. So we're gonna see if we can run around on the river now. Come on before they get there. Go get them, boy. Go get him! Yep, someone sent a flounder net here. No flounder in it. Oh, look at that. Just found a, quite a big sea run trout in this flounder net. We're going to let it go. Yeah, grab that for a sec. I'll just take this trout out. This video. Good size sea run brown that, probably about seven pound. Come back and catch them in a couple of weeks. Damn, we're in a tight spot. So the geese have all come down the lagoon and they've hit the ocean and run down the beach. We're gonna try, cut round the end and bring them back up into the lagoon because we don't really want them swimming out to sea. Which they may well do because that sea's pretty flat. They disappear out to sea, we'll lose them. So we're gonna sneak up along the beach, see if we can cut them off with a pass, chase them back up the lagoon. Ooh. We've caught up with them, we've managed to turn them, and it looks like they're headed back towards the lagoon. So we've just gotta make sure that they cut up the lagoon and don't head out to the ocean. I'm not sure if you can see them in the video shot, but there's about, probably about 50 of them lined up, and we only need about maybe seven or eight goslings for us and to give the family and friends. So hopefully this doesn't go pear-shaped. Get into it, eh? <laughs> POV, duck hunting. <laughs> Let's go get them. Go get them, boy! Go get them! Good girl, drop. Good girl. Sweet, we ended up with about eight geese, I think. Or eight goslings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight goslings and two adults. So that's pretty good. We'll take the adults home, breast them to make some salami out of. And also we harvest the down off the breast to go in my sleeping bags. These little suckers are much easier to pluck when they're warm, so I think we'll pluck them and gut them here on the side of the river, clean them up before we take them home, plus it'll make them a bit lighter to carry too. <coughs> well, 
they're looking a wee bit cold, I reckon we should take them home and put them in the oven, warm them up. <laughs> now that the geese have been hanging for a couple of days, we just need to chop the necks off, chop the wings off, chop the legs off. and pop them into the freezer till Christmas day which is only about five days away uh, and before we eat them we're going to brine them but I'll show you how to do that when we do it tally ho Merry Christmas everybody uh, we've cooked the goose and we do have a verdict on the goose on the west coast turkey not as fantastical as we would have hoped so I will take you live to the punters and see what they have to say about it. Uh, comments on the goose? I think it's really good. It's tasty. Oh, nice. Yeah, you'll go far. Oh, it'll zoom out there. Um, breast meat, good. Oh, what's that? Breast meat, good. Yep, everyone likes breasts. Kristen? Comments on the goose? Uh, breast meat, yes. What about the legs? Taking the feathers uh, off it. Goose legs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the feathers are all good. She's wasted. Bodie? It's alright. <laughs> Jessica, <laughs> comments on the goose? Um, it wasn't as gamey as I thought it would be, and probably plucking the feathers out of its carcass for an hour possibly put me off actually consuming the meat afterwards. So um, I'm very biased in my opinion, so maybe cut to someone else. Is that yeah, nah, yeah? Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. How about you, Grandma? Fairly gamey. Yeah, not as good as turkey. Well, we can see oh, there we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, where are the boys? Turkey. Charlie, Jack, come over here, boys. I haven't even tried it, Josh. Charlie, Jack, children. come have some goose, geese, gosling. What do you reckon, Jack? Do you like it? Two million percent. That's good. Give it to Charlie. Give Charlie a bite. Have a bite of goose, Charlie. Take a big bite. Give it to Uncle Josh. Hold on, Josh. Give it to Uncle Josh. What do you reckon, mate? Is it yum? Yum? Give it to Uncle Josh. You can eat that. So not yum. Are you full of ham? Oh, not even the baby wants the goose. Oh, the baby likes the goose. You go there, Freya. Yum. Turn around. A bit shy. There you go. You like that goose? Yum, yum. Oh, you don't want to share? Is that it? You want to offer yourself? Good dogs. All right, the jury is out on this one. West Coast turkey, not so good. I think it might be worthwhile shelling out the, the extra money for a real turkey. The legs were pretty good. The rest of it was fairly greasy and fairly gamey. I think if we had a hard day of physical exercise and we were ravenously hungry, the old goose might have gone down a treat, but as it turns out, we just kind of sat around all day drinking. And I hope everyone else had as a fantastical Christmas as I did. And uh, Merry Christmas. Have a bloody good holiday and a cracking New Year's and all the rest of that jazz. I'm going to go get nicely toasted and uh, sleep in tomorrow morning. That's what it's all about. Fuck God, I like that oil. Oh, it's good.
Oh